It's Tuesday today, which means that it's the day for a strength workout. I didn't really feel like working out with weights today, so I thought I'd just do a day of calisthenics. Functional movements like these, which are squat jumps, really remind me that just because I'm getting older doesn't mean that I can't do things with my body that I could do when I was a teenager. If you have a habit of moving consistently and training your body on a consistent basis, I think there's no reason why you can't keep on doing this kind of exercise like I'm showing you here right until your very last day. Now I get that some of you are a long way from this, but I still think that wherever you are, you can definitely improve your strength and your flexibility and your body composition, the amount of muscle mass that you have on your body, you can improve all of those things no matter where you are, starting from today. Power, balance, agility, strength, they're all traits of our human bodies. Our ancestors needed all of those qualities so that they could hunt, so that they could catch and bring down prey. I like to do the same kind of routine every time. And sometimes I change the exercise. And then sometimes like what I'm doing here, I'm just trying something really different. So I could do a one arm push up with my right hand. But you can see on the left hand side, it just felt weird, like it wasn't properly connected to my body. And it's just because I'm not used to doing that kind of exercise. I think it's a great idea to introduce exercises that are somewhat uncomfortable and give them a go and try them out and keep on trying them. The triangle headstand is one of those things that I learned when I used to do yoga many, many years ago. And it's actually relatively easy to do. It's really just about balance because you've got this three-pointed triangle, your head and each of your elbows that provide a tripod that your body can be vertical in. And once you're straight up and down and your head is relatively straight up and down, it's really easy to balance and you'd be surprised at how long you can stay up in that position for.
calisthenic exercises like push-ups are a great way to build muscle in your chest and your shoulders and your triceps and your upper body, your abs. And if you want to make them a bit harder, well, stack some weight on your back. I used to have my children sit on my shoulders. They're a bit heavy for that now, although the younger ones aren't. The older boys are getting upwards of 65 kilos, which is a bit too much for me. Try something that you've never done before or you haven't done for a long time on the odd occasion. I'm trying to do pistol squats here. They require strength, they require balance, they require coordination. And I haven't done these for a few years and I never used to do them on any sort of regular basis either. I can't say they were a whole lot of fun. They were challenging. And they definitely got me out of my comfort zone. When I first started doing this toes to bar exercise, the very first time that I did that, I maxed out at about eight repetitions. Since then, I've probably done these in five or six separate sessions. Now I can do 12 in the first set. For some people, that's a lot. For others, it's not very much. See what you're capable of the next time that you do some exercise. If you only did one set of an exercise to failure, well, try two this time. Or you did 10 repetitions, see if you can get to 12 or 13. And every now and again, just try something radical. I loved doing handstands when I was a kid. We used to spend hours and hours on the lawn as kids perfecting our handstands. And I hope that I can do these until my very last day. Thanks for joining me in this workout. I think that this video might be a good one for you. Yeah, that's definitely a good one for you to watch next. See you in the next one.